to my channel. Today we are in my bedroom because the lighting is great. And I wanted to be able to sit down and show you what's in my clinical bag. I obviously wouldn't have it on my bed if I've used it because that's a little gross. However, I don't start clinicals until next week, so it can be on my bed. Okay. Shout out Starbucks. I bought the bag from Amazon. It has really nice deep pockets. There's a nice front one and then two fairly large side ones so it will fit like a big water bottle. And I have my ID and reference cards. My ID is underneath. It's kind of ugly so I won't show you. I don't think we're allowed to have cute clips because they gave us this one for our uniform so I think I have to keep the generic one. But I'll find out more when I actually go there and see what everyone else is wearing. And of course I have my pen light, my pen light, this one I got from Amazon, it came in a two pack, so there's a pink one and a black one, however, I don't know where I put the pink one, this is actually the second set that I bought because I lost my other one in skills unfortunately. And then my goggles just in case, these ones are also from Amazon. I used to wear similar ones when I worked at a dental office and I really like the side and the top, the bottom, it's all like protected. Love these and then I bought, what are these called? It's really important to have goggles with you. It's not required, they don't have it on our list of requirements. However, I would like goggles just in case, you never know. I have a permanent marker, a blue pen and a red pen. These I would just put in my scrub pockets when I get there. And then of course I have Necessities, Carmex, and what is this? E -O I don't know. I have some chapsticks because I hate having dry lips. And then a lotion that I ordered from Medline. This is a really nice lotion that you can actually wear under your gloves. I believe, I want to say it's glycerin. If there's glycerin, is it glycerin? Petroleum. If the lotion has petroleum, I believe you can't have petroleum lotion with gloves. Why? I'm not sure, but you should Google it because I could be wrong. In this pocket, I have scissors and a hemostat, two bandage scissors. It's, again, these aren't required, but it is nice to have just in case, like say your nurse needs it or something. The two bandage scissors and the hemostat were a package deal on Amazon. I also have an unscented, oh, I don't know if it's like branded, but I have an unscented hand sanitizer. However, that location will have hand sanitizer everywhere, but it's good to have your own stuff. Coffee break. All the caramels at the bottom. Now to go inside. So this is the inside of the bag. It has two compartments. I have, I'll take all of this out as well, but just so you know what it fits. I have a folder for whatever my instructor wants me to have or any paperwork my instructor gives me. My laptop and then a notebook and all of this. So it fits a lot in here. I'll go ahead and take all of this out and show you love this fat zipper and that it's like more plastic it doesn't it seems more durable so the first compartment i have just a blank folder this will be for any paperwork that my instructor might give me or things that i need to sign whatever and then of course my laptop this oh oh my gosh i almost dropped it my heart just went through my stomach, or my stomach just went to my lungs, or my stomach went, whatever. But this top is just a case because I'm clumsy and I don't want it to get scratched or whatever, and then I just have stickers on top of it. But it's not actually on my laptop. This cover, the plastic clear cover, is from Amazon. Also, the laptop case is from Amazon. It's super soft inside and has a lot of different compartments. There's one right here one here and then one in the back. I have this little notebook so I can take notes on it throughout the day. In the next compartment there are little pockets. One of the pockets I have highlighters just in case I need them. I have the Tribe RN. I don't know if you can see that. These are just reference cards. 
here. I'll link these below too. They're from Amazon. I don't know. I can't remember how much they were. These are going to be really helpful. And then I have sticky pads here, which I could keep in my scrub pockets. If I need to take notes, I can do that. Of course, my stethoscope. I bought the stethoscope from Amazon. I believe it was like $70. This is a Lipman Classic 3, I believe. I decided just to get this soft one. This one's from Target. It's in like their makeup section. And I thought it would be perfect to put it in there. Especially because I lay it, I'm laying it on top. And when I brought it to Skills, it always went in its own pocket in this bag. So nothing happened to it. I would just say if you have a stethoscope, don't let it freely write in your bag. Another helpful tip that I received from a nurse, she said when you when you buy a stethoscope for school, get a nice one because you'll most likely use it after graduating. And we use these for the entire nursing program, so you might as well buy a really good one that's going to last you. This also isn't required. This is my C this is my CPR mask. I actually keep one in my car too. I just like having this on me at all times just in case you never know. These aren't requirements but I wanted to bring them along too. This is the Davis's drug guide. I know that they, I know that they have pocket size but I already bought this one. I didn't want to have this one and a pocket size and this bag's big enough to carry it. I'm bringing this along because if we do end up having downtime, which it probably won't happen, but if we do then I can write down any drugs that I want to be more familiar with and look them up in my book. I also have the Jarvis physical exam book and assessment. This is just in case I want to freshen up on something or read more about it. Or if I just have any questions about something, I can go straight to the Jarvis physical exam and assessment. This last thing in my bag is just for personal use. So it's just a little baggie. I have, and I explained most of this stuff in a previous video, but I just have tampons, panty liners, Q-tips, floss, then I have the Summer's Eve wipes, and I explained that in my last video, as well as saline for my eyes because I wear contacts and sometimes stuff gets in it or they get dry, so I bring that along as well. That's everything in my clinical bag. I'm sure I'll have to add more or take some stuff out depending on how my clinicals go, but that is what I put in my clinical bag. If you have any questions or any advice, please let me know and thank you so much for watching my video and have a great day. And if you could please just do me a little favor, I know this is kind of pathetic, but if you could just like and subscribe just to give my little channel a little boost, that would be great. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.